Howdy! My name is Kelly Johnson and I work with the PEER program at the College of Veterinary Medicine and Biomedical Sciences here at Texas A&M University. And we've put together a series of training videos to help you with your educational endeavors. So today, one of our veterinarian technicians here at the vet school, Lisa Block, is going to demonstrate some procedures for taking vital signs on patients with her assistant, Sophie. Hello, I'm Lisa Block. I'm one of the uh, ICU veterinary technicians here at the Texas A&M Vet School. Um, I have been a vet tech for the past 10 years and have been at A&M for eight and a half now. Um, my little friend here is my dog, Sophie. Um, she came in today to help show um, how we take vital signs on our patients. Um, the first thing you wanna do, I like to get on their level personally, but that's just me. Um, and kind of get to know them. Just let them smell me, know that it's that everything's okay. <laughs> so I like to start from the head and go back. That's just how I do things. The first thing that I that I start with is looking in their mouth. I like to look at their mucous membranes, see the color, see how their CRT refills, and make sure that everything up there looks like it should. The next thing I'll do is go and I will listen to them. And I like to listen to get my heart rate, not just by palpating their femoral pulses. I like to listen as well so that I can make sure that their pulses match their heart rate. So I'll go through and I will listen to their heart. And I'll make sure that the pulses match, that they're equal and synchronous with the heartbeat. And I like to count for a total of 15 seconds and then I multiply by four. And another thing I like to do after that is I go through and listen to their lungs. And at the same time that I'm listening to their lungs, I will count their respiratory rate. And once again, I count the respiratory rate for a total of 15 seconds and multiply by four as well. And while I was escolting her and listening to her heart and lungs, I was also feeling her pulse quality and checking to make sure that the pulse quality was strong and synchronous with the heart. The next vital signs that I do, which is also the last one that I typically do, is their temperature. It's their least favorite thing to do, so obviously I like to keep it to last. <laughs> Most of the time, I would have somebody hold the patient's head for me, being the fact that one, this is my personal dog, I know she'll stand still for me. So, of course you just talk to them and make sure that they're okay with everything. And ideally you want a fast thermometer. <laughs> For this procedure. And not all patients are as good as she is for this, but so. And that's typically how I go about doing my physical exam for my patients. From, I start at their head and go to their rear and just look everything over and get my vitals as I go from front to back. Well, we hope you enjoyed that video, and on behalf of the entire peer team, we wish you the best of luck with your educational endeavors. Don't forget to check out our website at peer.tamu.edu for other training videos and free resources. Thanks again, and we hope to see you soon.